So you want your guitar to look unique and special and expressive, not like some off the shelf mass produced factory product. Me too. So that's why in this video, I'm going to experiment with pick guards. I built this guitar and made all these colors. If you haven't seen it, there's a link to the playlist in the description. And I really thought that the tortoiseshell pick guard would be perfect for this guitar, but I don't think it is. I want to experiment. I want to try to make a pick guard that's really completing this guitar. And I even want to work on the knobs. I started out with some transparent red. Then I wanted to cover that with Olympic white. The problem was I didn't let the red dry long enough. So instead of covering the red, the white just melted together with the red for a light red color. My idea was to put some golden age gloss from Nitrolac on top of that and make the nitro crack just as I did on the headstock, but it just brought out the red even more. Now it's a day later, it's very dry. Let's just paint white over this and see if I can cover the red. I'm warming up the white this time. It's so crucial to get a good result. So they have been drying now for a few hours more and now I'm ready to put them in the freezer just to see what happens. Okay, a few hours have passed. I can't see any cracks yet. So then I tried to heat it up with a hairdryer and cool it down with some compressed air. That didn't really work on plastic. And then I just tried stuff, uh, sandpaper, I roughed it up a little, it tried to make it crack a little, and I used some relic patina to give it a, a, a more dirty look. I just experimented to see what happens. And I just kept experimenting. Please don't judge. and it does everything but not cracking. All right, so cracking the nitro on plastic doesn't work. So I started over with my last pickup. So this is pretty exciting. I'm going to experiment with these three pick guards. So now that I couldn't make the nitro crack, I experimented with some solvent retarder or lacquer thinner that I got from Nitrolac to kind of melt the nitro away from the butterfly and give the whole thing some texture and some roughness. Sinking deep into your eyes, it's not up to me. I want to experiment with something. Making me smile every time. Dancing just for me and you. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my butterflies fly. If I didn't have my So this is my last chance. I want to make this more subtle, much more subtle, if I can. To us when flowers 
this pickguard needs a little more. There's a red color underneath right here and I want it to come out just a little bit. You know what? I actually think that this is it. I'm going to put this on the guitar. Let's do it. see it all together the pickups doesn't fit in have to do something about that Okay, so now it's finally time to reveal the result. Oh wait, I forgot the strap buttons and the string tree. Okay, so one more time. It's finally time to reveal the result. Will it be a visual monstrosity or a rough beauty? You tell me. Whether you love it or you hate it or something in between, you can do whatever you want to make your guitar look unique. And also, it sounds pretty great too, right? But how will it stack up against the Fender, let's say, John Mayer Signature Strat? I don't know, but I'm going to find out in the video right here.